Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create these three exterior renders in Lumion. To start, I want to say that I'm only going to show you the render settings, not the whole setup of the scene. And also thanks to the ray tracing tool in Lumion 2023, our render settings way easier now than ever. Because ray tracing replaces all of these render settings and is combined in one effect. Want to learn more about ray tracing in Lumion? I will create a separate video about this topic. So for the first render, I chose a daylight scene. As you can see, I'm going to the movie category instead of the camera. I will explain that later. First, we add all the effects that we need. These will be used in every render in this video. We add a color correction, ray tracing, 2D perspective, real skies, and layer visibility. Then we add a mass move and motion blur. The reason for mass move is because this render has moving cars and I want to add motion blur to the cars. But we can only do that in the movie category, because the photo category doesn't have motion blur. After that, we can go to the, all the other effects and adjust some settings. First the orientation of the sun in the real skies. Of course you can change the type of the real skies, but I kept the default one. Then we move on to the color correction. I increase the temperature and lower the tint to give the render more warmth. Then I increase the contrast and lower the highlights and the shadows to create more depth. At last, I lower the saturation and increase the vibrance. The difference is that the lower saturation decreases all the color intensity in the render to make it more dull and grayish. And higher vibrance saturates the parts of the render that aren't that colorful, like grays and background colors. Making these changes put the color levels closer together and creates a more realistic render. For the ray tracing, I set the samples on 512 and the number of bounces to 8 for smooth shadows. That's all there is for the simple day scene. The next render is the raining scene. For this one we add the same elements as the last one, but we are going to add two more. One will be the precipitation for the rain. Increase the size for larger particles, lower the fog to not lose the detail in the sky and in the background, and I also lower the facing to make puddles instead of a wet road. Then for the real skies I chose an overcast sky. I changed the orientation and set the brightness lower for a darker sky and render. Then for the color correction I lowered the temperature and the tint this time to make the scene look colder. I added a bit more contrast, increased the highlights and lowered the shadows to create more depth just like the daylight scene. Finally I lowered the saturation and increased the vibrance as well to blend everything together. The second thing we add that's new is the volumetric lights. These give the render more dynamic because it pretends to show the fog that doesn't exist. At last we increase the samples on the ray tracing to 512 and again the bounces to 8. That's it for the rain scene. I don't want to add unnecessary elements, but if you want you can do that of course. I don't want to overcomplicate the render setting, so I keep it short and easy. Also you can do a lot with post production, but that's a preference and also for another video. For the final render we add the same effects, but this time from the rain scene. First we change the real skies to one from the morning category. Then we change the orientation and the brightness. Then for the precipitation that I use for the puddles, I set the speed, quantity and the size to zero, so it removes all the rain particles. And it gives the illusion that it just stopped raining. For the color correction I increase the temperature and lower the tint to give the render more warmth. I increase the contrast and highlights and lower the shadows to give it again more contrast and depth. Then I lower the saturation and increase the vibrance by a lot to give it more color. We add the volumetric lights again to the street lights and the traffic lights to give the render more atmosphere. And finally for the ray tracing we set the samples on 512 and the bounces to 8. That's it for the morning scene and that's also all the renders I want to show you in this video. The last thing I want to add to this video is that the render settings is a whole learning process in itself. 
just sit for an hour and learn what all the effects does. Move some sliders and also make some renders with different light settings like I just did in this video. I can assure you that you will learn a lot from it. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If so, leave a like, comment and consider subscribing if you want to see more content. And I hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye!